Hey guys, Fung Nair, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, this was a highly requested video and we're bringing it to your screens. The League One predictions, guys. In this video, we're saying who's getting that title and who's going down. Are you buzzing for it? I can't wait. Now, eight of these teams have been in the Premier League, Theo. That's mad. How many teams will be back in the Prem soon, oh, eh? Yeah. I don't know. What's the like target today, Dad? The like target today is 10,000. Oh, jeez. I mean, if the League One fans can do it, they can do it. And sub. Not just sub, make sure you get notifications on too. Content coming soon, so let's get it done. Who's the first team? The first team is AFC Wimbledon, who were 20th last season. Now the good news is they're going back to Plough Lane soon. Yeah, are they also going back to League 2 oh, soon? Well, that is the question. They've got the second least valuable squad in the league. Yeah. So they could struggle, couldn't they? Last season, they avoided relegation on points. I don't think they'll survive this time round. You know, they've got a very young squad. It's not the biggest of squads, and it's the second least most valuable in the league. I think they're going down 24th place. And I'm going for 23rd. The next team is Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Who are they? No, I'm kidding. Don't worry. Now, they were 17th in the league last season, but their squad's only worth 1.1 million. Yeah. The least valuable in the league. It is, and it's hard to predict them, especially with how competitive the League One season will be. The calibre of players in most of these squads. I mean, going back to the 17-18 season when Bolton got promoted second place, comparing it to now, it is such a higher level. And it's part of the reason I've predicted Accrington Stanley to just go down in that fourth 21st position. I'm sorry, Accrington Stanley fans. I, you just look at your squad, and I'm not sure if you can survive. It's going to go down to the wire. I won't write it off. Do you agree with me, Dad? Well, I'll tell you what. John Coleman's been manager for six years, so there is some stability. I'm, I'm rapidly falling out of love of football. I just wonder what's the point anymore, you know. But overall, Theo, I agree. Not Ooh. enough firepower, 21st. Two teams done, and we've both already said <laughs> two teams to go down. <laughs> Bloody hell. Over to Lancashire now, and a club with a proud history, Blackpool. Yeah. 13th last season, Theo. And the question is, will they push for the playoffs? Because being 13th last season, they weren't too close to it. But they've definitely got some reinforcements, and that is definitely the aim. But before I get into my prediction, I just want to say, Gary Medine. Dude. Goal machine, Gary Medine, goal machine. If he can relive the form like he had in his prime at Bolton, my god he was so good for us, in the championship as well. If he can relive his prime level of form, they'd walk the automatics. Cash Anderson too. Yeah. It's a whole ex-Bolton team, this day. It is, it's a proper team. And yeah. I reckon if they can get a run together, they've got a chance. They do, definitely. But overall, I'm going for 10th place. Ooh, you're going for 10th. I agree with you. I've gone for 10th as no well. No way. We do a knuckle thing. There we go. Bristol Rovers now 14th last season and we went there and won last season. We? Yeah. Five places we won at. One away. That was the team <laughs> that away. was. Thank you very much. And four points. We drew at home as well. Four points we got off them. I mean, looking at your team, it's been difficult to yeah. predict you. You've lost that legend up top, Clark Harris. In fact, I remember last season when we went to that place and they said, our team without Clark Harris is yeah. nothing. And that is a big statement coming from your fan base. Listen, I'm going to be hopeful for you guys, and I reckon you'll survive by the nick of your teeth. 20th place, you're just staying up. What do you reckon, Dad? Oh, wow, I reckon they've got Mark Little at right back. He's oh, a yeah. decent player, isn't he? But I reckon overall, they'll survive easily 14th. And next is the home of beer, Burton Albion. They we were go. 12th last season. Yep. And they've still got Luke Varney on the wing. He's been around forever, hasn't he? He's like 37 or yeah. what? Like <laughs> something crazy. Like You know what? It's actually crazy. Their squad is the most aging squad in the league. <laughs> and it's not even that big. It's, you know, when these lads get you know a little bit off fitness, they might have a problem with their squad. They've got such an old squad. Their average age is 28.4. Wow. That's just mad. All right, I reckon I've got a chance of playing for them, Aether. Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> yeah, 94 yeah. years old. I reckon they'll be all right. Now, I love me beer, so I'm going to mark them up and say 11th. 11th? Yeah. Mark them up? Yeah. Dad, that's from a bias of enjoying beer. <laughs> I think I'll be more correct with my 17th place. Oh, harsh. Mm, Mid-table. Over to London now and Charlton Athletic. Oh, they were gosh. 22nd in the championship last year. Yeah. And they had a really bad finish to the season, didn't they? They Phil? did. It didn't go their way and they went down. I did not expect that to happen. No. But now we're in a position where they are playing in League One. And it's going to be very difficult to predict this. Especially with the teams going down this year. Adding in COVID. The problems with financial stuff. We've seen what Wigan have been through over the last few months. What that's meant to the teams going down like Wigan, Charlton and uh, Hull. They've had to get rid of a lot of players. I reckon they'll be okay. I think it's going to be playoffs or automatic. What do you reckon, Dad? Well, I reckon they've got a good gaffer in Lee Bowyer. They do, He's yeah. been there nearly three years. Yeah. And they've got some good old Bolton lads. Ben Amos, yeah. they've got Prattley, they've got oh. Oztuma. 
So there's some decent names there. I think yeah. they'll do well, actually. They've got some good players. I mean, Prattley always does a job. Always gives yeah. 100%. I, I reckon Charlton will be good. I'm going to go for it now. I think they'll be in fourth place. Wow, big yeah, shout. It's, it's big, but I know they've got a thin squad, and I know that a lot of their lads have left. But I think they'll be okay for me. I don't know. That, let me know what you think, Charlton fans. What are you going for, Dad? I sort of agree. Playoffs, seventh. Crew Alexandra now and last season, they were runners-up in League Two. They were. But can they make the transition, Theo? I think they can. I think they'll be fine. I mean, we played them in a friendly recently, that being Bolton. Yeah. And they played some really good football. I looked over that game. Charlie Kirk, he's a class yeah. act, isn't he? Last year, he was amazing in League Two. And I think he's going to be able to get the step up done. I'm sure a lot of uh, clubs have kept a tab on him. Zanzala, their new signing from... Oh, it wasn't Accrington Stanley, was it? It might have been. Wherever Zanzala's from, <laughs> he's a very good player. He bagged against Bolton. And I think he's going to bag a few next season in League One as well. I think they'll be pretty good. I'm going to predict them in 12th place, Dad. And I'm going for Crew 19th. 19th? I'm sorry. Wow, that's harsh. Over to Yorkshire now. At least I think it's Yorkshire. Ooh. Not <laughs> Castor Rovers, but my geography's not always good. Last season, they were ninth. What yeah. do you think this season, Theo? Well, they kept the core of the squad. Great fullback called, you know, Reese James. What, what, what? From Chelsea? They've sold him. <laughs> <laughs> no, a different Reese James. Yeah, yeah. But still a decent one. But that one. Reese James yeah. was at Man United and Wigan, I think. He was at Wigan and they're in this league. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Anyway, mate. not United, Dad. Chelsea. No, I think he was Man United youth. Wow, didn't know that. You learn something new every day. They brought in Crystal Palace Loney, Jason Lock... Lo 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 mm, I'll try that again. <laughs> Leave that in. Lockelo. Lockelo, that's what it is. He's a Belgian winger. He probably has something about him. I reckon he'll be someone to watch out for. But overall for Doncaster, I'm predicting them to 11th place. Yeah. You know, mid-table stretch. What do you reckon, Thorne? I Dan? agree, Theo. 13th. Over okay. to Lancashire now. Fleetwood Town. And yeah. last season they were sixth and they only lost seven games. Yeah. I mean, Theo, Joey Barton's doing a good job there, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He's doing a great job. We've seen them start off in the cut this year really well, getting a win. Chet Evans getting a couple goals. He's going to be someone to look out for this yeah. season. I reckon he's going to score quite a few. I think he's doing a great job, Joey Barton, and they will definitely be very close to playoffs. I've got them in eighth, just missing out, but it would not shock me in the slightest if they got playoffs. What do you reckon? And I think they've got a good mix of youth and experience. They I do, mean, yeah. Glenn Whelan is still there. That is crazy. The Republic of Ireland and Hearts legend. You know what? Playoffs. Sixth place. Oh, he's gone for it. I've gone for it. Understandable. Gillingham now, and they were 10th last season. Yeah. And they only lost eight games. Now, this is the team that's been in the league the longest, along with Peterborough. Yeah, and they're a good side. Yes. And they're always in that mid-table stretch. I think it will happen again. They did make a good signing in Kyle Dempsey. Um, I think he's a quality League One standard player. And with John Akinde, the big man up top, they'll yeah. be all right. I reckon 14th place. That's a good shout. Now, Akinde, he's got 144 league career goals. He loves it. That's is amazing. Mostly for Barnett, but still a good That match. is true, yeah. I reckon 16th. Oh, OK. Now, this team were in the Premiership just three years ago. That They've got crazy. the most expensive squad in the league. Yeah. Hull City. And this is such a difficult one to predict. You know, we've done Charlton. Now we've got to do Hull. Yeah. What do you reckon, Bob, Dad? Well, of course, last season they were 24th in the championship. Yeah. But, I mean, the problem here is what's going on behind the scenes, isn't it, Theo? Whatever goes on behind the scenes, it can really disrupt what's going on on pitch. However, looking on, you know, their squad, yes. it's pretty goddamn good. It is. This is a good team. De Silva Lopez... Probably the best player in League One. Yes. The midfielder, Portuguese lad, worth over a million. The fact they held on to him is really impressive. I think Hull are going to end second. Very interesting. Yeah. Now, based upon the team and the squad, I would say a similar thing. But what worries me is the morale and what's going on behind the scenes. Okay. And for that reason, eighth. Eighth? Yes. Bloody hell. Yes. Missing out on playoffs. Yes. And I've gone for automatic I promotion. I know. I'm sorry, Amy. That is and all the Hull fans. Yeah. Yeah. Switched town now and they were 11th last season, but they lost the last four games. Yeah. Can Paul Lambert get them playing, Theo? Yeah, I reckon they were always a good team and they've been looking all right in the friendlies. They've only made three signings, one of them being Ollie Hawkins from Portsmouth. And yeah, it's a decent sign. He's not a goal scorer, but it's okay. Apart from that, they've kept the core of their squad. They're a decent side. I reckon they're going to make playoffs. If they win that, I don't know just yet. I'm going for seventh position. What do you reckon? That's a good shout, but I'm going for ninth position. Ooh, okay. And next, it's the Imps, Lincoln City, yeah. 16th last season. And I tell you what, they've got a player that I want. Liam Bridcut, Theo. Baller. Great player. 
and their captain and by far the best player in their team. Yeah. Interestingly about Lincoln City, they got 17 losses last year, wow. which is mental considering you think Bolton were bottom of the league, went straight down with yeah. 18 losses. Yeah, yeah. So only one comparable. But you know, they've held on to Brig Cup, which is massive. They made a couple signings here and there. I think they're going to be safe, Lincoln. I think I'm going to predict them to be in 19th place. And I sort of agree, and I'm going for 15th. Oh, pretty nice. Milton, Keynes, Dons now. They were 19th last season, one yeah. place above Wimbledon. Theater. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> 19th last year, but they have made a couple of big signings. Yes. Richard Keogh is back in English football. Yes. And he's joined the Dons. I mean, that is a mad signing, isn't it? He's been at some big clubs, like Bolton. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, he's at the Dons now. Will it work? That is the big question. Will it work for them? I think they'll be better than last year, and I definitely think they could do much higher than where I'm predicting them. I've been a little bit cruel to them. Chucked them in 18th, which is only one position better. But the reason I've done it is because they finished 19th last year, so it's tough to say. Um, what do you reckon? I, I think we should fist bump. Yep. 18th. Oh, we've agreed. Northampton Town now, and last season they were seventh in League Two and came up through the playoffs. Seventh in League Two. I know. 13 losses in League Two last year. Like. And they're in the. They've yeah, got off. It's yeah. unbelievable what they've done. It's a great story. And shout out to Scotty P, 19 year old winger. Yeah. Also a great lad, made it through hashtag. The big question is will they survive? Do you reckon, Dad? Well, they've got a lad called Luka Ratchich. Now he's Danish, but his family are from Montenegro. Where we are at the moment. Is, yeah, exactly. If anyone didn't know. But will they survive? I think they won't. I'm sorry okay. to Keith Curl and the lads. I reckoned 22nd. And I agree, 22nd as well. Covid fist bump. And the next team is Oxford United, who yeah. were fourth last season, and they won the last five games, so they're in form, aren't they, Theo? They are in form, and they're a good team. Like, we know they've kept their core. They're going to end pretty high up again, aren't they? Oxford United are a decent side. They were unlucky in the playoffs last year, ending fifth. Oxford United will be getting in the playoffs again. I'm predicting them fifth place. What do you reckon? Wow, well, they've got Rob Hall on the right they wing. Do. Yeah, Who's in right. England, Youth International, West Ham and Bolton Wanderers. Good player. And I reckon Oxford are a decent team. They're going to be strong this season. Yeah. Fifth. Okay, we oh, agree. Not again. Again, bloody hell. And the next team is Peterborough, yeah. managed by Darren Ferguson. Now, they were seventh last season, but they had the best goal reference in the league. Yeah. 28. They were brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, no, they made a couple good additions as well. We had Ethan Hamilton last season. They brought him in. We talked about how Clark Harris left Bristol Rovers. He went to the posh. And I think it's a good replacement because obviously they've lost Ivan Tony. They've sold him for like 5.5 million to Brentford. It was, it was going to be due. It was going to happen eventually. But at least they got a replacement in there. It's very important they did. They also made a good signing from Cholton. Ryan Broom, watch out for him. He's a very good player as well. And I think they'll have a chance this year because I'm going to predict them to finish in the playoff positions. Sixth place for me, Dad. What do you reckon? That's a good shout. And they've also got George Boyd, a very experienced yeah, yeah. Scottish That's international. That's a good player. Uh, Ex-Burnley, bags of goals, bags of assists. Yeah. And you know what? Overall, this might surprise you. Peterborough, this season, you will be the champions. No way. You predicted Posh to win the league. Yes. Is this a prank? This is real. This, oh, there is no Jeremy Beadle in the building. I mean, if it happens, Dad, you are a genius. Over to Devon now, and it's Plymouth Argyle, who were third in League Two last season. Yeah. And this is the team that my great granddad played for. It's difficult with these newly promoted teams, isn't it? Dad? Yeah, it is, it yeah. is. And I reckon, you know, losing Sarcevic is a bit of a hit on them. Thank you very much. <laughs> From Bolton fans, I think yeah. it'll be very good for us. They've got Ben Reeves in though, which I think is decent. And I honestly think they're going to finish 13th place. I, I like Ryan Lowe and I he's got a good system, so I think they'll be good. Wow, that's very confident because yeah. I think they'll struggle. I'm sorry, 20th. 20? Yeah, but they'll survive. Okay, they'll survive. But my God, our difference in predictions is mad. Portsmouth now, one of the big teams and last season they were fifth and they're managed yeah. by Kenny Jacket. Yeah. Now, what do you think he's going to be wearing next Probably season? Probably a jacket. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Where do you reckon they're going to finish? <laughs> I reckon that Portsmouth will be one of the biggest teams in the league. I reckon they'll be third. Automatic third. promotion. That is so different to my prediction. I've got them in ninth. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I think they'll drop down a few places, Dad. They've lost both their strikers, Pittman, and they sold someone else to another. They've only got, like, one good striker left. And they haven't really reinforced just yet. I know they're linked with that Bristol City player, Smoz Mix. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he, he's a decent player. Yeah. But I've gone for ninth, and then they'll mess up in playoffs. But you think they'll get the playoffs. A big difference in our predictions, Dad. Absolutely. I think next time you go to Roland's Castle, you have to hide out a bit there. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Lancashire now and Rochdale, and yeah. they were 18th last season. But it didn't end well, did it, Theo? No, it didn't. And the thing is with Rochdale, I don't know how well they're going to do because they've got 19 players in their team. Yeah. 
even a lot of them are academy graduates, so they don't really have the wage bill to bring in anyone half decent. They lost yeah. Callum Camps, which is a big loss as well. I think their time is over in League One. I think they're going to get relegated. I've got them in 23rd position. Yeah, and I'm really sorry to say this because I really like Rochdale and Lancashire, as you know. Yeah. 24th. Shrewsbury Town now, or is it yeah. Shrewsbury? I never know. But anyway, <laughs> they were 15th. Then they've got Sam Ricketts as manager. Yeah, they do. 38 years old. Yeah, and they've got a good team as well. Jason Cummings, cum dog on their team. <laughs> Pretty good player. And they've got really solid defenders like Roshan uh, Williams, Donald Love. They've got a good team, this. And the best of it all, Josh Vella. Yeah. He's on the pitch. Ex Bolton, good midfielder. Nice team. I think so. And Hibs fans, what do you think of Josh Vella? No, no, don't answer that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want to put off the Shrewsbury lads. But no. I've put them in 16th. What do I you put them 17th. Ooh. And now for the big one, Sunderland till I die. They were mm. eighth last season, but they ended the season really badly, didn't they? Phil Parkinson's men. Yeah, they're going to need another series for that playoff promotion party. <laughs> Will it happen? I'm not too sure. Can they even push for automatics this season? I don't know. It's going to be interesting with Sunderland. They've got Phil Parkinson at the wheel. You know, they've had that scandal with that Irish winger, McGeady. Looks like he's going now, even though he's probably the best player on the pitch. But, you know, because of Parkinson, he doesn't want anyone good on the ball. He just wants to play his tactic. Yeah. Because it worked when getting us promoted in League One that season. If they can relive the form and the tactics that we had, I'm sure they'll be good. Theo, call the fire brigade. Because Will Griggs on fire, your <laughs> defence is terrified, Sunderland, automatic promotion, second. Second? Yes. He's called it. Yeah. He's gone for it, This lads. is a team that should not be in the yeah, third no, tier true. of yeah. English football. It's about time they were back where yeah. they deserve to be. I think you'll finish third, yeah. and I think it's going to go down to playoffs. It'll be a good year for Sunderland fans, so good luck. And good luck because you're brilliant fans. Yeah, you are to be fair. And now we're going to talk about another team that used to be a Premier League club. Yeah. Swindon Town from Wiltshire. They won the league. They won League Two last season, didn't they? They did, Theo? and they went off and uh, lost Owen Doyle to Bolton Wanderers, their top goal scorer. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry, but we'll have it. Thank you <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah. Cheeky one. But yeah, you did sign Pittman from Portsmouth. Yes. Will he do as a good job? Probably not. Ooh. He's getting on a little bit. But you know what? He is League One standard. I'm, st I'm sure he'll be you know, a decent standard player. Yeah. But you kept the core, and you know what? You won League Two, so there's clearly something good going for you. Where have you got them, Dad? Bang in the middle, 12th place. Okay, I've got them in 15th, so okay. mid-table stretch for both of us there. And finally, back to Lancashire, grab yourself a pie, Wigan Athletic. They were 23rd in the championship, and yeah. they had 12 points deducted. Fear, what do you reckon? They've been through everything, really. Just yeah. like Bolton have, we can relate to you on that sort of standpoint. You've been through it all, financial problems. It seems like you're in a better place now. But obviously you've had to go through and bring up loads of academy players because, you know, the wage bills and all of that issues with the, you know, the embargo and everything. You, have, you only have enough first team players to start a first eleven. Apart from that, you don't have many others. But you, it's important you've kept a lot of the big dogs. Yeah. And I think it's going to be part of the reason that you do get promoted next year. Obviously, I haven't said my first place yet. And you know what? I'm going to give it to Wigan. No. Athletic. I think they're going to win League One. They've got the pedigree. They've done it before. And they've got a decent team in them. And I mixed that with academy graduates. And you know what? They're friendly. We had against them. They, they beat us 5-1. I'm just thinking, if they could play like that throughout the year, they're going to win this league. Wow. And that is an unbiased yeah, prediction, it is. isn't it? Wigan Athletic, you're going to be fourth place. Fourth place. Okay. Interesting. It's such a gamble with all these predictions. I might be completely wrong. But I think you have the, the first team to do it. There we go. That's, that's our predictions done, guys. That is the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below where do you think all these teams will finish, especially the relegated teams from the championship, because it's all up for grabs. With COVID, a lot of them, you know, they've struggled to keep a lot of their players. There's some big calls in there, guys. And everyone, smash the like button. Let's have 10,000 likes. Yeah, what else should they do, Thog Dad? You should subscribe to this mug. With notifications on as well, Absolutely. Right? You don't yeah. want to miss any EFL no, content, no, no. guys. Get it done. If we can hit 10k likes, it will make our day, really. We put a lot of research and effort into these videos, and getting that back from you guys is always really appreciative. We're doing follow-backs on Instagram as well, at Thogden, at Thog Dad. Get it done. Follow us on Instagram. Right, I'm off for a beer now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bit of Nations League and a beer. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye.